Hi, my name is Rick Roman, and welcome to How To Wilderness. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to set up a small, lightweight backpacking stove. Now, this particular stove is known as a Dragonfly. It's a stove that operates off of white gas. When you do put the fuel pump in, you'll notice that it's a little bit awkward shaped. You need to feed in the tube and then bend and put the rest of the pump in. Be careful to seed this correctly. You want to make sure that this is not cross-threaded in any way. This particular stove is a Dragonfly. It can fold up and fit into a very small pouch. When you open the Dragonfly, you flip the heating element over. Another advantage to this particular stove is that it's very stable. It also has this additional valve control, and this valve control is for simmer. So you can control from a large flame for boiling all the way down to a very small flame for simmering. When we're lining up the canister with the hose from the stove, we want to make sure that this gate is in the right position, because this gate is going to be used to clip and hold the, stove in, the pump in place. Go ahead and Place the male end into the female end and push. And then you should be able to move this gate around and snap it into place. We're going to go ahead and light this small stove. We pump in the pressure in the canister. Go ahead and open the valve and release a little bit of fuel. Once that fuel is in the cup, we turn off the valves so there's no gas that's flowing. We go ahead and light the fuel. This is burning off the fuel. And the purpose of this is to heat up the uh, elements so that the liquid white gas will turn into a vapor because a vapor will burn much more efficiently than the, ga than the liquid. You can see how the liquid is burning. It's a very yellow uh, burn and a very inefficient burn. As this heats up, it will start to convert that liquid into a vapor, and that will burn a blue flame, which is a much hotter and more efficient flame. But before we turn on the gas, we need to get this to the right temperature. So we'll hear this start to crackle and, and fizzle as it converts the liquid into a gas, and then we can go ahead and open the valve to let the gas in. As the flame starts to burn down, we can open the valve up. And then there's a very bluish flame. It's a much more efficient burn, you can hear that. We're going to go ahead and put the windscreen on. And that keeps the heat in and protects the stove from the wind. And now what we're going to do is we're going to boil some water. So to purify water and turn off the stove. And turn it off at the valve. And then we'll let the fuel burn out of the lines. Once the stove is sufficiently cooled, you can go ahead and break it down. The first step is to remove the white gas canister. Release the clip. The fuel inside the bottle is still pressurized, so we gently unscrew the top, and you can hear that pressure come out. Go ahead and take the pump out of the canister. Put the pump back in a plastic bag to keep it safe. Put the lid back on the canister. To break down the stove, 
you flip the heating element. And you can use the clip to grab a hold. This uh, valve handle will fold back. And this will now fit back in the pouch. And you're ready to go.